Yo, yo, yo. Hi, everyone. Today we are debating vegan gains for the third time. And I would just like to say, as an opening remark, just look at you. Look at you, Richard. You're fat. You're mentally ill. You're married to Harry Potter. And you're injured about three times every fucking month. Clearly, there is something wrong with your diet, otherwise you would be like me, and just by the high vibration of your chakras, you could attract the most beautiful women from across the planet, just by your scent alone. <laughs> You're clearly a slave. You eat a slave diet. You eat slave grains. Grain actually means good slave brain grain and that's what you are you have a good slave brain because you are not eating raw and cooked baby you're eating soy which is actually well we'll get into that later <laughs> but yeah yeah so i would just like to say to the audience that you should just look at him and look at me and clearly i just automatically win this debate hi everyone well Sparage. If you're so tough, then why don't you get in a cage and just fight me, okay? Take off your pants, rub yourself in mud, get all lubed up, and jump in the cage with me. And I'll full mount you and show you how big and strong I am. How does that sound? Not only do you want to kill defenseless poor animals, you also kill women and children too. And I have the proof. I'm not going to show you the proof, but I have it. You're a mass murderer. You stabbed people in Latvia. Even though if you did that, you would never be able to leave the country. I know you did it. And when I full mount you in the cage, I'm going to turn your skull into nothing but pulp of the planet. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? You actually knew about that? I stabbed them and I ate them. <laughs> But why would that even surprise anyone? <laughs> you fucking mentally ill retard. I know you want to do that, Richard. It is natural to want to turn people's head into pulp on the pavement. <laughs> you are just embracing your natural primal side. And if you would truly understand who you are and where you come from, you would know that everything you truly desire can be achieved. What are you talking about? I know where I come from. I'm Canadian. You are Canadian and therefore you're automatically mentally ill. Canadians lack sunlight. They lack raw milk. And therefore it is a slave country. Just look at the demon too. <laughs> I would know for a fact because I married one. <laughs> this study that was funded by Bill Gates told me that soy is good. And meat is bad. What do you have to say to that, Sparage? Just look at the study. Look at the study. Get in the cage. Read the study while you're in the cage with me. Right? While bashing your head into pulp and nothing but mush on the ground. And then you'll understand how compassionate we are as vegans. Soy is literally made from aborted fetal stem cells. <laughs> You are truly closer to your raw primal diet than 99% of other humans if you're eating soy. Soy has the nutrients in its substance from babies, okay? You eat soy, you eat a baby. There's no debate. You crave raw meat, you crave baby because you, Richard, are my son. Search your feelings, you know it's true. I will tell you what happened. It all went back to when me and Jazz, the physicist, <laughs> the name has real meaning, went back in time to try to murder Demon 2. We went to Canada to try to track her down in the early 90s so we could just eat her when she was a baby. But unfortunately, she got pregnant and, uh, well, she gave birth to a baby in Toronto Hospital. It was you. Then we left, we went forward back in time, and we thought that you would have great potential as a 
possible star child. But instead, you decided to go vegan and castrate yourself, so that's out of the picture now. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't really matter now because I have because I have Primal Bella here. It's super sour. Shut up! I didn't tell you you could talk. <laughs> it's sour for a reason. It's because I don't shower. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, we gave birth to you and then you were supposed to be the star child, but you fucked up and you castrated yourself and went vegan. So, um, yeah, you're mentally ill, you're my son, you won't be getting any child support payments, <laughs> just ask Luna about that. <laughs> and yeah, that is why you crave Baby. No, that's impossible. No, uh, I see it now. I see it. You bastard. You bastard. Doesn't matter. I have my husband, I mean, wife, and we're going to be together on OnlyFans forever. Anyway, that's the end of this debate because just look at you, look at me, Ivan. <laughs> But I just would like to tell you, audience, that if you drive a car, you are a bitch boy. <laughs> you see, driving cars is for mentally ill slaves who have jobs and work and do things with their lives. Unlike me, who is an enlightened one who gets money on YouTube, naturally. <laughs> what is more manly and natural than... Driving a car would be riding a bike. You see, having a small little phallic-like object stuck up your ass all day is extremely manly. And riding for years until the point where your ball sack no longer produces sperm and you have hemorrhoids, that is much more manly than driving a truck or a car or a motorcycle. <laughs> and I would know all about this because I bike everywhere I go. Or I beg for a ride from my subscribers, and then after that I eat them. Or I go on Uber, which is completely natural and, and true and strong and primal. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I'd just like to tell you that if you drive a car, you're mentally ill. There's just no debate. It's just, you drive a car, you're mentally ill, you're a slave. I mean, <laughs> that's it. There's nothing else to say about it. I'm also interested in getting a cock wheel. I don't know what you know about those, but basically it's like the most natural way of transportation ever. <laughs> it's like, why wouldn't you do it? Seriously.